I don't talk talk too much about the design features as a selvi it is a much more simplest simpler design compared to regular rocket it uses uh, more cost effective uh, inertial systems the entire navigation process is different its ability to play small satellites uh, is very crucial it's all based on solid stages with a small liquid trimming upper stage so the entire architecture and design of sslv is entirely different than the regular liquid uh, uh, based uh, rockets and in such rockets to get a precise injection is always tricky mm. that is that is a uh, that is issue that we faced in the first mission though is placed the satellite the precision was slightly an issue so we solved all the problem made two successful missions and completed the development program about the commercial thing commercial is yeah commercial is basically is this has to be transferred to industry not as a production uh, support production support industry is already giving but uh, isro want to make them learn the trick of how to build a reliable rocket and launch that requires knowledge of how things are done and that can be learned only when by working with us so this technology transfer is different from a transfer of a knowledge in the form of a documentation but also working working with us so two rockets will be realized they by the industry within isro by work along with us and the knowledge will be taking back to the their workshops and the fa for factories to produce in numbers when the workshop start and what are the parameters for them to be correct now they are technical competency financial strength their willingness to take that uh, technology transfer fee all of that what's the cost of kulasekara patam launch that just started construction so it will take 2 years to complete Gaganya and the first mission, uh, unmanned mission, is getting ready. Uh, we are targeting this December for the launch. The US-08 satellite is having many new technologies, which will help us to improve the bus configuration. In terms of, we will increase um, uh, more payload mass we can carry. We'll have more data rate download uh, capabilities, data storage capabilities, more power generation. So, like that, more than 18 new technologies we are using, which after we demonstrate here, uh, we'll be using in bigger spacecrafts as well. So, we will be. optimizing the bus configuration with respect to mass power and volume so that way this has uh, multiple new technologies in mainframe and three very innovative and new payloads which will uh, uh, aid in our uh, multiple applications starting from disaster management or new type of remote sensing or the uv dosimeter which is for gaganyaan payloads there are three different payloads which we are flying ha see when astronauts are uh, within the capsule of uh, uh, man mission they are not supposed to come out of the capsule because there is uv radiation so this will act as a alarm it will measure the alarm if the limits are beyond certain limits they will not go out or if they are out for some operation and they see the limits are increasing they have to immediately come inside the modules so such dose meter we call it it will measure the uv radiation dose so uh, here we are flying it to get on board experience how it works is there any improvement we have to do act before actual gaganyaan flight and also it will give us the uh, solar variability steady inputs because sun cycle keeps varying so with this we'll know how sun varies with respect to months or with respect to day of time how it varies so actual knowledge of uv radiation outside our atmosphere what we measure here is we have a layer of atmosphere so this instrument will be outside its surface so that way we will get the information from the uv dose We, we will based on the mission we will have uh, this one sir uh, uh, we'll come out with useful data and we'll inform this is a very cost effective launch vehicle this is actually to make sure that uh, the development stage is over for me so now we are planning to give based on the expression of interest given by in space to the industries whichever is prospect industries once they are evaluated they will take over the production of this launch vehicle and henceforth it will be done by the industries